Now, when it comes to starting a family, determined couples in Russia will stop at nothing. Many of the country's six million infertile couples say surrogacy is their only chance of having a child. But despite the practice being legal in Russia, the end result isn't always a case of happy families. These first photos of Anton made him an orphan. Seeing he was ill, his genetic parents refused even to hold him. The boy has a rare and incurable genetic disease. They simply threw him out, like an unwanted kitten, and picked a healthy one. While his healthy twin brother enjoys family life, Anton has no one but hospital staff helping him to survive. The boy's surrogate mother also disappeared soon after the delivery. Little Anton's story is just one of the shocking examples of shortcomings in the Russian family code that seeks to regulate surrogacy in the country. In our modern world, the idea of surrogacy is sometimes distorted. It can even be used to avoid the hardships of pregnancy and to preserve the beauty of a body. That turns surrogacy into a business. Renting out a womb costs from twenty to thirty thousand dollars. However, often neither those who pay nor the surrogate want to admit their involvement in the process. The attitude to surrogacy in Russia is ambiguous. So many women simply don't want anyone to know their baby is carried by another woman. For many, it's easier to resort to a small or not such a small why. However, once seen in public with this, there really is no going back. The sides become entangled in a legal and moral knot. Blackmail haunts intended parents, while surrogate mother's greatest fear is not getting paid. Most of them see surrogacy as the only solution to their financial misery. We had no other choice. We lived at my mum's place, nine people in four to six square meters. Zinaida, a mother of two, hoped giving birth for money would allow her buy an apartment for her large family. However, halfway through the pregnancy, the genetic parents demanded she abort. They had shopped around and their backup was bearing twins. The biological father sprawled out in front of me in an armchair and almost laughed when he was saying, don't you understand, we need neither you nor the baby. Zinaida still hoped they'd accept the baby, but instead ended up with no fee and an addition to her family. To little Anton, these legal details are called comfort. The question is whether he will ever want to know who his real parents are and why they treated him as a commodity. Daria Pushkova, RT, Moscow.